Let's get here. Since you came through town, ain't it? Got everything you need. Have a look. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flatneck Station said they had some clergyman in. Drunk out of his mind.
Oh, well, well it's always here if you want to take another look. Something slip your mind? Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. Seem a bit taken with that. You like that? Seem to have your eye on that. You like the look of that one, huh? All right, have a think about it. again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. Do you ever forget your name, mister? No. So it's just me. They said I was strange back in the army. And, and that's why they kicked me out. I was the only fella got kicked out during a siege, while being sieged. That weren't no fun. Idiot! Morning. Oh, watch yourself. Damn it. Damn it. Okay then, girl. Okay, then. Yeah. 
the blind. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are.
Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> yeah. now. least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. 
I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sap. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block. In the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> They're left here, towards roads. Now, I was saying... You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Oh. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But... We should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Can't you go any faster? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, hey, get on that train! You bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Sorry, but... What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got Arthur! We've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith! Get ready! You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now! There's only two of you, you fools! We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Look out! Here come the friends! Ah! Come through the trees, you see them? Almost got me! I won't let them back! Behind us! We got more of the bastards! Yeah. Oh, 
we chose get them. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss.